Just a quick Nikivo update. Uh, you may remember 7.0 came out recently. Well, I had an issue with my 7.0 and support guided me to a update that came out. Uh, the documentation on the site doesn't look quite up to snuff yet. Basically, uh, you can go to this article and get the link. Now you'll see I already downloaded this Nikivo 701 updater. That's why it has the apostrophe one there because it's already hanging out here. So before recording the video, I got the latest update. Cool, uh, what else? Well, there's some other uh, details, and uh, let me just walk you through. Basically, uh, I use WinSCP here, and I logged into the Nikivo server uh, with username root and password root. Once I'm in there, the OPT and the Kivo updates is where you want to be. So once you get in that folder, you're good. And I'll have all this documented and screenshots and so forth. Here's the updater. Just drag and drop it over there. And it's now pushing the bits over to the Nikivo appliance. So this video is specifically for users of a 7. something Nikivo appliance trying to go to 701. Uh, there's probably only one release of 7 called 7.00 before it, I believe. All right, we're done with that. Now, head over to the local console. If it didn't wake up already, however you want to do it, this is a ESXi console, right? And this is what it looks like. There's not a lot to uh, see in the console. Uh, you should be on the main screen like this when you get in. So I'm going to go to software update. And what do you know? It shows the thing I just uh, pushed in that opt Nikivo updates folder. Okay. And I'm hitting enter. The clock looked right, by the way. I've got time sync going with my ESXi host for this VM, which is something I covered in a previous video, an article. All right. So you've got a bunch of stuff to read. Can hit spacebar to get to the bottom of it. And I can say yes. Do you agree? Yes. So now the upgrade is underway. And looks like it's probably done already, which was crazy fast. Now let's see how we look over here. Just gonna hit refresh on this. Yeah, there we go. You wouldn't expect it to be up quite that fast, right? So the web server built into the product is now starting and it warns you about that on the login screen. Once we get to the login, what I should see is a new version of Nikivo showing. And that didn't take very long. Click login, it's still at root root, which means you don't actually click on anything. And here's the error I was saying. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run the job again, and maybe this error will be gone. Now, what else is there to see? Uh, let's see what this little one is. Okay, just alerts about my uh, issue. How about about screen 7.01. So we are there. Let's go back to jobs. This backup job is running. I can dismiss all of that. Uh, the last run has failed, cannot be dismissed, but uh, everything should be fine at this point. So it's a little while later, and the last run was successful and took 28 minutes to back up about uh, 150 gig of data. Uh, with BitLocker on a um, UEFI BIOS virtual machine. So anyhow, yeah, it worked. And now the second backup is actually completing right before your eyes. I'll also point out, uh, silly me, you don't need to use the question mark. Bottom left corner shows you right there the version number you're on. So that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting tinkertry.com.